I'm gonna sweat. Oh, this is so real. So good, so I, that makes me happy that you're back with oh, yeah. kids. And yeah, I mean, I, her being away, as much as I hated it, actually um, probably did us better than any, you know, more good than yes, anything. Yes, absence makes the heart so, Down goes yeah. Frazier. Down goes Kelly. Yeah, Roy Jones Bay. B. Who is that with the... Uh, it's just that other show on it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I, that I guess is me. I guess you do it like this. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Nice. And then you, uh, <clears throat> nice. At least, like, at least I can see some. Just to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's close. He's Butch. Nice. Here's Amy. Nice. Here's me. Nice. Right now it's generating Butch's face. Good God, I hope this guy's got a change for a hunt. Uh, on fight night. And we'll be right back with the final product. Right after this. Right after these messages. From these messages. Are you going to do yours? Here it comes. 99% done and... There it is! Of course, he's trying to find your house. Head's complete! Yo, what's up, Mike? Server's up. Who's that? Who and all's there? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, on the phone with Butch right now is Mike Bourne. That's not you. Dude, that's not you. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a computer generated face. Oh, that's funny. Butch added his face. Now he's doing mine. That ugly mug. And boy, is it ugly. There it is. Ready to generate it? Yeah, let's do it. Generate in your head. Generating my face. Let's see if they get even close to close. Wait, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with the end result. 98. 99. Up. Oh, this is what they say. My head and face. Yeah. I look like Oscar De La Hoya. Are you kidding me with this? That's me? No. Looks nothing like me. A little. Alright, we'll be right back. Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Davis is bouncing and come back here, Kenny. Thinks we're going against him. And now the time is served. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered, good things are happening. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Now there's some blood, but it's underneath. Holy cow! Dave oh, Davis is down!
Okay, thank you, guys. Let's check in with Lindy. Lindy Thaxton? And Scott, you start second, so clearly you're fast, but you told me after qualifying yesterday you thought you could go faster. Do you think you're going to find that speed tonight? Anyway, I got lucky in that. I got lucky. That was really me up there, too. You saw the face and everything. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Butch Davis. And he's going to the background story on tell the, Motorsports. Tell the audience the background story on some uh, FPR Motorsports. Some uh, what was it? 1996, 97, somewhere around there. 98. 98. <laughs> Ran into this guy on the AOL forums, Mini Champ One. And we kind of gapped back and forth about various forms of racing. And one day we just got talking and come to find out he lived in New Jersey. And I said, Egad's a New Jersey boy. And of course, that's where I live at. So after a while, we decided to start running together. And he was starting up a little team, you know, kind of unheard of back then. And uh, Team Savats. So we were all racing under Team Savats, and then one night, uh, Mark and I, we were racing online together, and we were just kind of goofing off and decided we wanted to try something a little bit different. We were getting more into the NASCAR side of things, so we decided we were going to create a new team, and as I said, we were drinking, so we were tossing around different names and came up with FBR Motorsports. And I can tell you what FBR really stands for, but I'd have to kill you. And uh, sure enough, a rivalry quickly grew between FBR Motorsports and Team Savats and Team Savats came up with a very comical Co colorful colorful meaning of what FBR stood for oh, fucking what? fucking backstabbing rejects it was uh, actually Robbie that, that came up with that yeah Robbie came we up should with be it sitting, sitting but uh it's comical it's part of the history of the team and everything else so that's how it goes you know here we are some how many years later? You know, still with the, still with the same deal. Still doing all the sim racing. Just a lots, of course. How you doing? And even through everything that we've, you know, been through, whether it's on the track or off the track, we've still remained very, very good friends. And uh, but still competitive as ever. Oh yeah. There's nobody I like to beat more on the track than this guy. <laughs> and I feel the same way about this guy. <laughs> but there's also nobody I. I like to see win more on the track if it's not me than this guy. And same way I feel about this guy. So. And that's that's why we're such good teammates, because we push each other farther than most teammates. I think push each other. Oh, absolutely. You know, and we and we, we, we go into ex, you know very explicit detail about not just setups but race strategy. I mean, you name it, we're constantly talking about it, where we can find an edge here and there. Not cheating, legal edges. Some might call it the unfair advantage, but we're just damn good. Well, when I mean, you've been doing it as long as we have, and, you know, I have real-world background experience, and, you know, it, it just pays dividends to, to think things through. I mean, it's, it's more of a mind game, I think, than a physical game or a, or a skill-wise. You know, you've got to have the, you gotta have the mentality of a racer to do it. You know, there's guys out there that are fast. But because they don't have the mentality of a racer and they don't have a strategy in mind and they, they're not able to make the adjustments during the race itself to adjust their strategy to how the race is unfolding, you know, they don't they may be fast but they may not win most of the time. And I think that more than anything else is what's been able to propel me in my sim racing career and, you know, all the trophies and races I've won in my life, you know. I think maybe that's part of the reason why I do have the reputation I do have as far as, you know, I go into open servers and people know who I am. That's always pretty cool. But, you know, just because they know who you are, you know, everybody wants your setup and everybody wants this and wants that and they don't realize that it's not always the setup, it's the guy behind the wheel and, you know, what's what's going on up here. So That's why if we go to race we, we would rather race in um, a fixed setup league. Yeah. So definitely. everybody has the same setup. It's a level playing field, you know. If everybody's running with the same setup in a fixed setup environment, you know, nobody can turn around and say, oh, well, you know, I got beat because he had a better setup, you know. The one thing about fixed setups is that everybody, regardless of your driving style, you have to adjust to. And the ability to adjust to that setup is what separates the, you know, proverbial men from the boys.